Hi, welcome to another video. So, Grok from the team at XAI has launched their API in public beta, which means that now we can use it in applications. It was available before as well, but it was in limited preview, and you could only access it via open router and some other places, and it was also heavily rate limited. But now we can access it quite easily and without any rate limits from XAI themselves. You can use the latest Grok model from it, and it supports both the Anthropic API structure and the OpenAI API structure. But apart from this, the best part that I liked about it is that it gives you free credits. Yes, they'll be giving out $25 of free API credits per month to test the API and get started using Grok. I think this is pretty good, because $25 can be something that we can work with, and many of us can use it to be our free AI coder. Generally, in simple use cases, I never trip through the $25 limit for sure. So, this should be amazing. Plus, it's renewed every month, which is also great. So, I thought it would be great to show you how you can configure it with Klein and Ader as well and use it to make some great applications. Now let's get started, get it configured, and see how it performs in an AI coding scenario. First of all, you'll need to go to the XAI console site and then log in by signing up. You don't need to have an X account for this because it's separate from all that. That's pretty good as well. Once you are signed in, you'll directly see that you have $25 in free credits, which is pretty amazing. Now, there are also some other options like models and billing setup, which you can do if you want to use more credits than the free amount. But it's not required if you just use the free credits. Apart from this, you can also see the model pricing here. The Grok model costs $5 per million input tokens and $15 per million output tokens, which is fine. Anyway, let's create our API key. To do that, just go here and click the Create API Key option. Now, just click Next in the steps, and you'll see your API key. Keep it in a safe place, as we'll need it later to set up our stuff. So, that's all you need to do here. Now, let's get it set up with Klein first, and then Ader. First of all, make sure that you install and upgrade Klein to the latest version. Now, let's just go over in Klein and hit the Settings option. Here, just select the API provider as OpenAI compatible. Now, enter the base URL provided by Grok, which is this. Now, enter the model name as Grok Beta, along with your API key. Once done, just save it. Now, you should be able to use it all you want quite easily. Just for basic testing, I have this boilerplate Next.js app and I want it to build me a one-page finance tracker app where I can input my income and expenses and get some good-looking components and features for it. So, let's just send it now. Okay, it's doing that. Let's wait a bit. And it's now done. So, if we run it, you can see that this looks pretty good. I can ask it to make more changes, and it should be able to do that, but it seems pretty good to be used in coding. Ader had benchmarks when it was released in heavily rate limited settings and didn't perform that well due to the rate limits. But I think this is pretty good because Mistral Large, with a similar prompt, produces much less accurate results than this. I think this looks pretty amazing, to be honest. So, this is surely cool in coding. Let me know if you guys want a video where I'll create a full-stack app with it. I think it could be pretty cool. Also, I have recently uploaded the full Crawl 4 AI tutorial 
in the Members Only section. So, please check that out. There are a ton of other videos there as well, and it also supports the channel. Anyway, that's how you can use it with Klein. But, Klein generally consumes more tokens, so many of you may want to use Aider because it's much cheaper to use. It only makes one request to the API rather than recursive API requests like Klein. So, let's move to Aider as well. Using it with Aider is also quite simple. First, upgrade or install Aider with this command. Once you have done that, upgrade your LightLLM package by running this pip install upgrade LightLLM command. Once you've done that, we can start using it, which is quite easy. Now, because Aider uses LightLLM, all you need to do is export your Grok API key like this, and then you can start Aider with this model flag. And once you do that, you can start using it. This time, to test it in a mobile app scenario, I have a basic expo project here. So, let's ask it to make a weather app that looks pretty good and has blue and white colors with icons. Let's see if it can do this or not. Let's wait a bit. It's now done. It worked pretty well. Let's run it and see how it looks. Okay, this looks pretty good, and it did what we wanted, which is also amazing. So, this is just amazing to use for sure. I think that this might be a great way to boost your AI coding for free. I think this might be great to use because it doesn't have a rate limit, and you can just make sure you don't trip over the limit by checking it out yourself without waiting for your rate limit to refresh. You can also see the usage as soon as you do it as well. They also mentioned in the blog post that they'll be launching their vision-capable model next week, which should be pretty cool to use in the API because we could give it images and it generally produces better results. So, that should also be cool. I think that this free API is surely very cool to use, as it makes the barrier to entry very low, which is just amazing. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.